Your family is destined for great things. You know it's true, but others stand in your way. Perhaps if you can find an ally with ties to royalty. Or maybe the right marriage could secure a better title for your family. And the power you could find in the church, that can't be ignored either. And if it comes to it, you'll take your forces to war. Because this one thief may not be enough. Thief is a game for three to six players in which you'll take on the role of a noble family in 14th century France, striving to be the most powerful ruling force in the kingdom. Your family is comprised of nobles that you will attempt to raise in stature by gaining them ecclesiastic titles such as bishop or cardinal, and feudal titles such as baron, earl, or duke. These titles give your family members the power and right to collect additional taxes and a vote when electing the Pope and the King. Villages on the game board both reside in one of the five bishoprics as well as one of the eight defined fiefs. Players attempt to gain control of all the villages in a fief and then pay the cost for the title to become a baron, earl, or duke. For each fief they control in this way, they will claim a victory point. Players may also try to gain the title of bishop associated with a bishopric in order to collect further taxes. Titles also make a family member eligible to be elected as pope or king, each bestowing to the player one victory point. A player wins the game by having three points at the end of a round. Now that may not seem like a lot, but it's very hard to win this game alone, so players will often negotiate agreements and enter into alliances through marriage. With families joined, these players now play and win as a team if they can reach four victory points collectively. If you grow tired of that alliance, you could petition the Pope for an annulment or arrange for your spouse's untimely end. Courtly intrigue will deepen around the table as players negotiate agreements both openly and in certain circumstances in private. But diplomacy will only get you so far. You may also need to build up your armies in order to threaten your enemies and encourage your allies. After all, there's nothing like a little intimidation to keep your friends friendly. Over the course of the game, you can draw new noble cards to add to your family. Perhaps this is the daughter you'll marry to the Duke of Bly in exchange for the bishop's title of Signy. You may also draw event cards and bestow good harvests on your domains, or find yourself in the midst of plagues and famines. Players may impose church tithes on opponents' villages or tax their own fiefs to increase their income. Players may purchase new fief titles, improve their village incomes with mills, fortify their cities, or build armies of men-at-arms and knights. Then use your lords to lead those armies to help spread the true word of the church and king. What you've seen here are the old components to the original French version of the popular game, Thief. Academy Games has rewritten and updated the rules to enhance gameplay, and will also be updating the map, cards, and tokens with this version. You can ensure it comes to print by supporting the Kickstarter today.